Okay, basically filleting and salmon. You want to get as much meat as possible, so you bring it up behind the head here. We're gonna take and turn this thing around so I can get at where I just cut. Because I'm left-handed, by the way. But uh, not that that has anything to do with anything. But I'm just gonna follow that backbone down. All the way down, trying to get as much meat as possible. Sometimes it don't work so good. You can feel the ribs. You know, bust through the ribs. Keep following the backbone down. Come out and just keep it going. How many pounds do you figure this is? Probably about six pounds, maybe seven. Oh, it is a female. We got eggs. We got eggs. You want your light on? And there's you your one. There's your one fillet. And look at we got eggs that we are going to save because we are going to be ice fishing this winter. So we will take and save these lobes of nice eggs. Ever ever tried smoking those at all? I have had them on triscuits once in a while, but you know they don't taste so hot okay. raw. But you know, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Boy, there's quite a few eggs in there. Wow, oh, man. Man, oh wow. There are some nice eggs too. Then there are some big ones. Those are big eggs, yeah. Yep. And then I'm just gonna take and slice it across here. Get rid of that fin. There's one fillet that I still have to do work till, but I'm gonna get the other fillet off first. So there's one slab of meat. And if we want to, we can look in the stomach and see what they've been eating, but it don't look like he's got a very full stomach, so he was hungry. That's probably yeah. why he ate Jeff's that, lure. Is that black thing? That is like what is that? That's a liver. liver? Think you turn this again. And do the same thing I did on the other side. Come down the backbone. It's nice. Then knife to poke out. Come right down the right down the fish there. I'm gonna take and slice again. And then basically I'm going to take and cut that off. I don't really want a lot of that belly fat and stuff, so this is what you end up with, two slabs of meat. Wow. And this is junk. Yeah, we got a bag right down there. We can wrap that Where? Up. Wrap that up in that Let's newspaper. Get that out of here. here. Just wrap it up in the newspaper here. Yeah, there. Uh -huh. In here? Yep. And there's your meatless <laughs> king salmon. Is that what it is? A king salmon. Okay, look at the bag it goes. King salmon. And then... Now, you take the fillet, you got your rib meat. We're gonna go underneath that and kind of fillet that out and get rid of these bones. Like so. Now there's another set of bones right here coming through the lateral part of the back fin. What I'm gonna do is straighten this out a little bit. You can kind of see them and feel them. And you run your knife 
right down that. You want to follow those. You can hear them. You can hear my knife hitting them. You bring them up and you bring it down all the way down to the skin like so. Oh, I felt I think I cut through some bone there. But I'm supposed to point it up towards. Then you got to come back up underneath like so. And what you do is you get down deep and you peel this out and that's bones that's all bones okay now virtually you have a totally boneless salmon fillet would you like the skin on for yeah. grilling yep uh-huh Mm -hmm. Or would you like it off? Nope, skin's on. Skin's on? Yep. Okay. We've got some bags right back there. I'll check some new one. Leaving them. I'm going to come around over from the other side this time. And we're going to do the other side the same way. Oh. we got rib fillets here. I'm going to get rid of the ribs. Basically, there ain't nothing there. I'm just gonna slice that out. Now, there used to be a bloodline in some of the salmons back in the day that they used to talk about cutting. Yeah. Is that the bone well, line? Blood, bloodline is basically towards the skin side. Mm -hmm. But when you grill, what I found out when I grill and I smoke fish, uh, what happens is when you smoke them, the bloodline actually will stick to the skin when you're grilling, which is nice because when you fork at it after you're, when you're eating it. Mm -hmm. When you fork at it and eat it on crackers and it tastes so delicious, <laughs> it uh, it actually sticks to the skin and then you don't get that bloodline. Oh, it sticks to the skin. Okay. That's what I found. But, uh, but and once again, once again, here's the here's a bone line right here. Mm -hmm. I can feel them with my fingers. What I'm gonna do is just kind of follow that. So you're cutting. Outwardly, right yep. there. Yeah. Up so. towards the back. Mm -hmm. Up towards the back of the fish. Right down to the skin. You can kind of feel it if you press really lightly with your fillet knife. So you get all the way up. And then what you're going to want to do is come in on the back side. And then you're cutting towards the bottom, then, right? And then you're just angling then it, you're right? Angling it up again. Right, right towards it again. Okay. That's all bone right in there. And you basically just want to bring that up, and as you get deeper, just kind of angle your knife up again so that it hits where you just cut previously. And uh, what you do is you take and you can feel the bones, pull it up, and I'm going to do is just take and rip this right out. There you go. All bones. The bones only go so far back in the fillet. But that's that's all bones. Then you get virtually if you run your fingers through this, no bones. Whatsoever. Wow. So you ain't gotta worry about biting into one or choking on one or yeah. whatever. So and there you have it. That's filleting a salmon.